It is a nervous drive through unfamiliar territory. This neighborhood, now under the control of Iraqi forces, was home to many ISIS fighters. The SWAT team is on the hunt for an IS explosives expert called Ali Qatar. At the house where he's staying, the suspect is dragged onto the street. Warning shots are fired as he's interrogated. Humiliated in front of his sister and wife, he insists they've got the wrong man. What's happened here shows how difficult it is for the Iraqi security forces to capture Islamic State fighters who've gone underground and are now blending in with the civilian population. The man that they thought was Daesh turns out to be an entirely different person. It appears that they were given the wrong information by their informer. So many men are being rounded up. The security forces are finding it hard to process them. In the back of a truck, those accused of terror are terrified. The courtyard of the mosque nearby is soon full of local men. They've been ordered here by an intelligence unit from Baghdad. Names are called out, IDs are checked and wrists are stamped. At the SWAT headquarters, they have a long list of wanted men. This is his picture. We send this uh, to the intelligence. These documents that Islamic State have left behind. Very important. Documented. And this will help you catch them? Yes. There is an urgency to this anti terror operation. In the past few months, there have been several suicide bomb attacks in eastern Mosul. The Iraqi army is now guarding the streets, but people are not reassured. We're scared from these this people. People are still scared here? Yeah. You see, they said maybe they come back here again. You see, because they, they have many, many, many sleep. They have sleeper cells yeah. here. Yeah. The soldiers try to be friendly. But they are strangers in much of Mosul. The children are scared as a gunshot rings out. They sometimes rely on unlikely sources for information. This little girl leads the way, identifying the house of a suspect. The wanted man is taken for questioning. The hunt for ISIS's rank and file is a major test for Iraq's forces. Providing security without alienating the local population will not be easy. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Eastern Mosul.